My name is Nassim Sabs. So I was talking about what was prophesied to happen. That God himself literally said what was going to happen. And he literally said himself that the Antichrist will come after World War III. And World War III is going to happen because you have soldiers under delusion because of pride and egomania thinking they're doing the right thing when they're not. And they're the, going to be the ones to do all the killings. All the soldiers will. Okay? It's their fault. Because they're the one doing it. And I was under the same delusion myself. Because I was forced to be under it. Okay? Who knows? There might be a draft. Most likely there will be. And don't think that the draft is only going to be from the ages of like 18 to 30, whatever. I think that it's going to be for every, every able-bodied man. Basically. Even into the 80s. Most likely. Okay. Even into the 80s, most likely. And so, to me, it's going to be very obvious what's going to happen, most likely. In the most likeliest of scenarios, okay, the people at the top are funding both sides of the equation. Okay. The World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, the Bank of International Settlements. Okay. And all the other banks that are under those banks, okay, are going to be funding both sides of the conflict, all right? And it is going to be a global conflict, and it's going to make World War I look like a preschool fight, okay? And it is, it's going to make World War II look like a typical bar fight. Okay? And that's what it's going to make those, in comparison to the other two wars, about how bad it's going to be. So a lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are going to suffer. A lot of people are going to get their houses blown up. A lot of kids are going to die. A lot of babies are going to die. A lot of pregnant women are going to die. A lot of men are going to die. A lot of teenagers are going to die. A lot of women are going to get raped. Okay? And they're going to be taken for war brides as well. They're going to be made into sex slave brides. A lot of women, that's what's going to happen. Okay? It's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. That always happens. All right? It's part of the demonic, satanic revelry of mass death and democide, which is death by government workers. A soldier is a government worker. So democide is death by government workers. So it's going to be a lot of government workers killing a lot of other government workers and non-government workers. But it's mostly going to be government workers doing the killings, most of it. Okay? And of course, who is owning all the governments? The devil. Alrighty? And so the devil is going to have all the countries all fighting each other, killing each other, and all the people in all the countries all fighting each other, killing each other, murdering each other, making each other very weak. Then the Antichrist is going to come. Now, depending on the, depending on the reality that you're in, right after World War III, the devils are going to come as aliens. Or the Antichrist is going to come and then the devils are going to come after. So it really depends on the dimension you happen to find yourself in. Whether World War III happens and then the devils come as aliens and then the Antichrist. Or World War III happens, the Antichrist comes, and then the devils comes as aliens after the Antichrist comes. So who comes first after World War III? Devils or the Antichrist? Posing as aliens? I don't know, but it's going to happen. And, but when the Antichrist comes, okay, he is going to 
unite all the countries that were previously fighting. And the United States is going to be broken up into pieces. And also most likely get nuked. And if nukes don't exist, because I heard that nukes don't exist, then whatever the big bombs are, okay? The, bi the really big bombs, okay? The really, really big bombs, okay? There's really, 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 really big huge bombs that are huge, okay? They're very big. That explode very big, okay? So they're going to have the big bombs get dropped on it, okay? That's going to happen. And a lot of people are going to get blown up. And a lot of babies, a lot of little kids that didn't do anything along with their parents, are going to get blown up to smithereens, okay? Get out, get out. They're going to get blown to pieces. That's going to happen. This is going to happen, okay? And basically, because Canada is so connected to the United States, whatever happens to the United States is the same thing that's going to happen to Canada, too. It's not just going to be United States. Canada is also going to get broken up as well, okay? So where, where are all the elites going to be, okay? Where are all the elites going to be hiding so that they don't get so that they don't blow themselves up during this war and so they don't die? Where are they going to be hiding? OK, um, a lot of them, they have secret islands that aren't on any map. They're not on Google Maps. They own Google. So they basically um, cover up the island with water so you can't see it. OK, and they stockpile the island with workers that they pay very good money to sex slaves that they don't pay any money to and guards that they pay very good money to and child sex slaves that they use for their sex sacrifices in their satanic luciferian murder bullshit rituals devil worship and so a lot of them they have these secret islands that aren't on any map and google maps blocks it out with water and they just paste water on top of it so a lot of them are going to hide out in their islands, their secret islands, okay? A lot of them are going to hide out in their islands. A lot of them are going to hide out in New Zealand, okay? A lot of them are going to hide out in New Zealand. A lot of them are going to hide out in New Zealand. And a lot of them are just going to hide out deep underground, okay? In their deep underground military cities, and they're just going to chill. At least they think they're just going to chill. And they'll just chill for a couple of years, and then they'll chill. Their ch they'll chill in their hidey holes, in their hidey hole countries, in their hidey hole islands, in their hidey hole deep underground cities. Okay, they'll chill for a couple of years while the people that they consider slaves and less than nothing blow each other up. Okay, and then at the end, they're gonna poke their head out, and they they think they're gonna rule over everything. But the Antichrist is going to be the one to rule over everything. Not the elite people. The, the Antichrist is going to actually backstab. This is what they don't understand. These elite devil-worshipping people that own, the, that, that own all the banks, own all the money. Okay, They think that they're going to be co-equal with the Antichrist after World War III. And that's not going to happen. He's going to backstab those people. He's going to take all of it for himself. He's not going to share, okay? The devil's not going to share with his duped, dumbass, demon-possessed, mind-controlled followers. He hates, the, he hates his own people. He hates humanity, even the people that worship him. He hates his worshipers. The devil hates his worshipers. Okay, this is why devil worshipers are, I call them dumbasses. And so after World War III, the Antichrist is going to take control of the stuff for himself and wrestle it away from these 13 families. And they're not going to be in this prestigious thing. He's going to backstab a lot of them. Okay? He's going to backstab a lot of them. And he's going to have a new separate type of group that is not so connected to the 13 families running it instead of the 13 families. And they're going to be shocked when this happens. Okay? He's going to backstab hard. Okay? The Antichrist is going to backstab hard. And none of them see it coming because they're so prideful. And they're so filled with evil spirits blinding them to the truth that worshiping the devil doesn't get you anything besides pain, suffering, misery, and then eventually death. Okay? That's what happens. That's what happens. 
Now, at some point, the Antichrist is, or however way it's going to happen, the devils are going to be revealing themselves, but they're going to only be calling them alien, okay? It's only going to be called alien, okay? It's only going to be called alien. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. And there's going to be devils in places in broad daylight and things like that. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen like that. But the Antichrist is going to say that it's okay. Okay? And the Antichrist is going to normalize it. And it's going to be normal for devils and people to be in the same place. And they're not going to hide anymore. The devils are not going to hide themselves anymore. And after World War III, that's when the technology is going to come out. Because during World War III, a lot of the technology is going to be used. And after World War III, okay, after World War III, the technology is still going to be used. And it's going to come out in the normal for everyday life. And then it's just going to be spaceships from then on. But it has to have World War III happen first. How many people are going to die in World War III? At least 50% of the entire population of the world. So cut it in half. Why? Because it's easier to rule over less people. Number one. Number two, the devil hates people. And he knows he can't kill everyone. But he's going to try. He's going to kill as many people as he can. So I think it's going to be more than 50%. So World War III is going to take 50% of everyone alive right now, including little babies, little kids are going to die in it. Okay, that's going to happen. It's going to happen. 